Now get ready for we're going to visit one of Dubai's most iconic attractions. We're heading towards Palm Island to spend the day at the Atlantis Resort Complex. Join us, we're going to show you how to save money and get to the Atlantis using public transportation. We're going to take you to the metro system, the tram, and then the monorail all the way to the Atlantis. Hi there guys, well, um, this is me Rodrigo, well, I'm in um, Dubai right now, I think it's an incredible city. Um, I'm staying at the Millennium Plaza Hotel here in Sheikh Zayed's Road, which is just right there in front of you in front of me as well um, which is awesome so we're just about to leave to go to the Atlantis so I'll take you with us come on hope you enjoy it we stayed at the Millennium Plaza Hotel at Sheikh Zayed's Road the city's main avenue the Emirates Towers metro station of the red line was literally in front of the hotel um, Sir, can you please move back so that we can cross the road and go to the metro station? Thank you very much. This is what the metro system here looks like. Very modern and clean. Prices may vary according to the zones you're traveling from and to, meaning that prices change according to your destination. I recommend you buy a metro card and fill it up with credit if you're staying in Dubai for more than just a couple of days. Please check the Dubai Metro website for more information. To get to the Atlantis, take the red line towards Jebel Ali, stop at the Dubai Marina metro station and take the connecting tram to Palm Jumeirah station where you can exchange to the Palm Island monorail system which will take you to the Atlantis. On the way there, if you plan ahead, you can stop at the Dubai Marina station and walk around the Dubai Marina area. This is what the Dubai Marina area looks like. It's one of the most beautiful spots in Dubai. It takes a while to get there from the Dubai Mall area. Dubai is very spread out, so make sure you plan your day very well. We're going to stop at the Dubai Marina Metro Station and transfer to the tram. Tram ticket prices are usually around 3 AED or 1 US dollar, but it may vary according to the zones you're traveling through if you happen to use a metro card. This is what the Dubai tram looks like. We just stopped at the Palm Jumeirah tram station and transferred to the Palm Island monorail system. Now we're the monorail. The monorail runs along the trunk of Palm Island all the way to the Atlantis Resort. Tickets cost 15 AED or around $5 one way and 25 AED which is about 7 US dollars round trip. Palm Island is huge, it's an engineering marvel. It's much bigger than I had anticipated. It's like a different city altogether. After a few minutes, I could see the Atlantis. What a magnificent view! The Atlantis Resort is located at the apex of Palm Island, a five-star facility. It has 1,539 nautically themed rooms divided in two wings linked by a bridge. The theme of the resort is the myth of Atlantis. 
but with distinct Arabian elements to it. The resort is complemented by a mall, a private beach, and the Aquaventure water park complex. We paid at the time 120 US dollars per person, but check out the Atlantis website for more deals for prices may vary a lot. And of course, it gets more expensive if you choose to swim with sharks or swim with dolphins, for example. Now we're at the resort's beautiful mall that has a great selection of international brands to choose from. Come along and check this out, it looks pretty amazing. Every time I see you, everything... At the Lost Chambers Aquarium, you can see over 65,000 marine animals in a mysterious setting and experience the myth of the ruins of the lost city of Atlantis. So check this out. Look what we found here, Havaianas Flip Flops, a Brazilian company in Dubai. That's pretty cool, but it's much cheaper in Brazil, of course. Now let's check out the rides and slides, y'all. How about the pyramid slide? It looks good to me. Every time I see you, everything around me stops And every time I'm with you, by the heat goes to the top Baby, what you're doing to me, this is too insane Is this happening to me when I don't even know your name? Am I going crazy? I can picture you and I Together forever, not even a day apart Am I just too delusional? Or should I simply say hello? Love is still available should I just let you go? Whatever, whatever, can this be real love? Whatever, whatever, can this be passion? I feel it in my heart, it dominates my soul It's coming to my head, it's coming way out of control She wasn't happy about it at all. 
She was looking at me like, what? I was trying to vlog, but could I, given the dancing situation? The water was pretty cold, but I still loved it. Next time we come to Dubai, we're staying here for at least a couple of days. It's so worth it. This is one of the best water parks ever. Now let's go back to the mall. It's time to leave. Please follow us to our next attraction. Another spot you should definitely see is this amazing mall called Ibn Battuta. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but that's as good as I can get. The best way to get there is by metro, for it's really far from the Burj Khalifa Dubai Mall area. Just take the red line towards Jobel Ali and stop at the Ibn Battuta metro station. The mall's architecture is inspired by the famous travels of Arab scholar Ibn Battuta, who was a medieval traveler from Morocco that started to travel at the age of 20. He's visited most of the Islamic world and beyond, areas such as the Horn of Africa, West Africa, South Asia, Central Asia, China and Southeast Asia. The mall was divided into sections, each with a very different feel and theme. The main themes being Egypt, China, Persia and India. Hi guys, I guess this vlog came to an end. I'd like to thank you for staying with me until now and I'd like to ask you to please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and make a comment below. Thank you very much and see you next time. Welcome to Travelzilla. Goodbye.